Alex, let me show you how uh, an, a smarter uh, uh, import can uh, can handle what you want to do. All right, so this is that uh, electrical box that I was showing you. So I'm going to click on this particular piece of sheet metal, and I'm going to right-click and hide everything that's unselected. So that basically gives me a sheet of uh, sheet metal piece. Now, although I can make this even more intelligent, let me show you what it can do right off the bat. If I click on the bend, two, three, I can right click and I can either edit the face radius or I can change that face to an intelligent face. The difference is if I edit the face radius, you can see here that I can now edit that and make that two. And you'll notice that not only did that change, but all of the radius has changed. In fact, let me show you the one back up in this corner. You can see how all the radius has changed. Now, that may be fine if that's what you want to do. If you want to change just the one radius, let's go back, click, three, four, do a right click again. Now we can change that face into an intelligence shape. So now if I do that, so now it, I can only work on that one radius. One. Now you can see here that, that it's at one point, uh, point one five. Let me change that to point two. So you notice that bend changed, but the others didn't. Let me show you that. I go back to that corner, and what I'm doing is undoing and redoing. And you can see here how that works if I undo and redo. Now, also notice that if I wanted to make additional changes to the sheet metal, like maybe add add some additional stock, uh, here, add stock, it, it, if I just pick that, it doesn't do anything because it, although it has some intelligence, IronCAD doesn't know that it's a sheet metal piece. However, there is a way that, uh, that that can be handled. If I go to the stock and drag a piece of stock on the screen, do a right click on that piece of stock, go to my part parameters and change that thickness to 0.75 to match my existing uh, panel here. Now if I now, what I also done earlier was I took this panel and I dragged it in, into a catalog so I can use it. So now what I can do is I don't need this piece anymore because that doesn't have all the intelligence shapes, that, uh, intelligence that I want. So now I take this, it was the same sheet, drag it and drop it on that sheet. It now becomes part of that stock. And if we look at the back, we can see that piece of stock. So now I don't need that anymore. So I get rid of it. And now, if I go back to the sheet metal, I can actually add stock. And I can continue to work by adding bends. Something I couldn't do with the uh, the basic SOLIDWORKS file that was imported, although it did have some intelligence, now now we know it's a sheet metal part, and we can continue to work on it in IronCAD as a sheet metal part. I hope that answers some of your questions. Um, not every part is going to be have the intelligence, so when you do receive something from somebody, see if you can get it in a uh, format that's got more intelligence, like a SOLIDWORKS file. and, and, and um, an inventor file, a pro-e file, because you'll have the ability to read those indirectly with the uh, translator. Thanks.